got some blue skies today. We are headed out for another adventure. It is somewhere we... <coughs> Sorry. We'll see what Derek does. So today we are putting the DS4 skis on the links here. Test it out, see what kind of handling difference it makes. Because I think these are a better ski. I think these are, these are a little too big. We are also tossing our new belt on here this morning. Uh, not because that one's blown, but we're going to break this one in. I know everybody gets all up in a huff when I don't break my belts in, so that's what we're doing today. I'm excited to be back on a short track turbo today. We're on the links. We do have skidoo skis, but we got one DS4 and one DS3 ski accidentally here. Uh, Jerry picked up this ski for me, and I guess he didn't know what one was what. We got a pretty long trail ride to start the day, so uh, let's get that over with. Yep, it's gonna be one of these days again. This is probably the hardest crust we've ever had coming up here. This is brutal, man. Yeah, this is the worst conditions we've ever had coming up any of these places. Any other places? Yeah, probably gonna get worse before it gets better. God, how freaking cool this valley is. So gnarly. No avalanche? No, I know. I think last time we were in here, this was all slid through here. It's almost scary that none of this has slid. There's not much snow up there either, though. And this one just made it to the road. Glad we don't have to cross any of that. That's a lot of rock, eh? <laughs> we gotta go up. No. Yeah. That's not the road. It is. Oh, it is the road. I think they decommissioned it so we can't get up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, God. They really messed this road up. I gotta take my jerry can off. <laughs> they definitely did something to the road, eh? Yeah, I don't know if they purposely did that so we couldn't yeah. access or what. But again, there was a lot more snow, so it could have looked like this last time. <laughs> we got jumps! There wasn't such big rocks in there, I'd say just like putt through it, but it's pretty gnarly. Yeah, a little sketchy here. No road right there at all. And just into the abyss of a waterfall. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Ah. 
I should not be breaking trail. <laughs> Full bog when I went to climb that. We're getting up a little higher here now and I think we're out of all the crappy spots. Oh, can't see anything. <laughs> Except the tree riding up here is gonna be pretty difficult too with the crust to get up to where we gotta go. Hey, what are you hiding in there? Let me just cut, have a look here. <laughs> is it a half, half? <laughs> so you're a half eaten granola bar that you're trying to hide? You don't, you you don't want to be judged? <laughs> We're going to see Jordan next year. He's going to be 140 pounds. That's what I'm eating, guys. Uh, like this guy's going to develop an eating disorder. <laughs> <laughs> it is real crusty around these trees. I think Dallas has just spun out. He's spun out on the ice. Man. I think having the 146 is actually good for the ice because the stiffer, shorter lugs dig in a little better. Climb a little bit more, and then I think we're just going over. Oh. Wish I had the players right about now. <laughs> I'd be the first one through the trees. I thought it was the last one. <laughs> Derek, how are you making out? Stuck every 30 feet. Did you get yourself unstuck from the one where you were, couldn't roll it? Yeah, then I got stuck 20 feet after. <clears throat> Which cabin are we having lunch at? <laughs> we'll just feel like that. I feel like that's too big to be a crown. Well, maybe not. What else would it be? A one lip, but but is it just mirrors that look like there's people on that face right now? There is, because I think they've moved. Where? Right on the right face right where that crown is. It looks like they're going up on a forty-five. Yeah. We'll go say hi. Our next spot to stop is up here in a pretty gnarly chute that may have slid. And if it has slid, I'm not sure if we'll be able to get into here. How's it look, Dallas? Don't think it looks too good here. Is this the slide you were thinking of? No, this wasn't even the one I was thinking of. Wow, this doesn't look good. <laughs> wow. Yeah. So cool though. Pretty wild. If we cut a cut a side hill into it, go across and then cut a side well, that side's easy I guess. I think right here is our best bet. Wow, the snow is really packy today. Like I, this is the only option I see. 
on the other side of the like we could go you mean wrap around and go right up top that's an option too no this this came from yeah it came from that side well this won't take long that's pretty funny shoveling trails across avi debris and for those of you who don't realize this is how hard it is That's why you want a good Abbey shovel. Be I think I would have just waited instead of trying to ride down that. We got a super skinny pathway here because somebody in the group didn't want to wait for a pathway so everybody can make it. Came down here and washed it out, so. Skinny Ridge. So the issue now, I mean, we still might have one with Abbey Path to cross, but. The issue now is we're a little scared to have to come down some of this stuff because we're just going to slide on the ice. But this is a pretty mellow pull through here, so it should be all right. pretty good there's a slide there but not down our little chute which is right there I think Looks what? A little gnarly. Is it just like baby tree gnarly or what's the problem? Uh, there's a lot of little baby trees. Um, I mean, we're going down a chute. And, like, the chute's fine, but it's going to get quick. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of what I figured. I recall this being like an open face. No, I remember it being a, a pretty much a chute. Yeah, if you're worried, that worries me because you don't worry. Let's go inspect, see what we're looking at here. Definitely looks gnarlier than I remember. The top looks better than I remember. Doesn't look that bad. I just... It's gonna get fucking fast? Oh, it's gonna get super fast. I don't know where you're gonna end up stopping. I don't know about that. I don't even know if reverse is gonna help. You couldn't stop even coming down to that point. No, I had to go on the side. Yeah. Because I was having a hard time stopping there. What if we bounce yeah. on, on the right ski just there? Dude, you're gonna elevate it so fast. Yeah. Can hardly walk on this slope. Yeah. I think Dallas just send it. Why well, me? Well, you got a longer track than me, so. No. Oh. Yeah, I do. But... Uh, and then let us know how it is. 
You could reverse all the way down to create some. Uh, I don't think you're reversing through this crust. It's hard to say. I think you would. Well, let's not send the guy on my sled. <laughs> like it's it's really not that bad. It it, it isn't, know. but it is. The as bottom. long as there's no like big dips through there. But this will be the first day we got skunked, and it's the nicest day. Oh, yeah. are you thinking we might be skunked? I don't know. One, it's fine for one guy to go down. Well, I think, but six. Who's going first? Yeah. No, no. You did it first last time, I, so I, I you got the most time. experience here. Yeah. I got the shortest track, so I'm gonna be going the fastest. And I have literally the flimsiest track. <laughs> <sighs> Look at it up there. Well, we got Jordan, sacrifice. Yeah. How we think it's gonna go? I don't know. 50-50. <laughs> We're just gonna see him zip by at like yeah. 30 mile an hour. Reverse or no reverse? <laughs> I don't know, dude. I think reverse. Just in case. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Because your brakes still, you're not going to be giving a gas going down the hill. Oh, yeah. No problem. Okay. See you guys at the bottom. Good luck, sir. <laughs> Sayonara. He's going so slow, it looks like we're being babies. Now he's picking up some feed. It's not as smooth as I thought it was going to be. Well, there's bumps, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if someone lets their sled go down here, though, oh, man. I don't know. That didn't really boost my confidence that much. What about you? Yeah, I don't know about that one. There's quite a long run out. Should be good, even if you get going fast. The biggest challenge is that halfway down, there's two big, hard chunks. So you got to steer around them. Good luck. Ooh. Next person is good to drop. How do you feel? It's good to hear <laughs> them. I, I watched them bounce through there and it's... I don't know, man. It was the midway section. You looked a little squirrely. Nah, uh, you're good. It was, it was super comfortable. You'll be fine. I'm not worried at all. Well, the boys went down, so I guess it's my turn. One be line I wasn't a little nervous. Oh, this isn't bad at all. Yeah, Derek, Matt, you guys are good for sure. It's pretty easy. Uh, Derek, how, how you guys feeling? It's honestly good going down that. Yeah, this stuff kind of scares me to be honest, but I'm gonna go to where you guys were. Do I use reverse? Yeah, I put it in reverse. What are your thoughts on coming back up it? I'd way rather come up it than down it. Got Derek dropping down first here. Using a lot of reverse, <laughs> picking up some speed. He's good. Yeah, now he's good. Oh, yeah. The 165 slowed him way down. Yeah, the 165, I'd definitely rather have a 165 today. I think he's the slowest coming out of there. Yeah. I'll be honest, I think I'm staying up here. I feel like I don't have the ball. Yeah, I don't want to be the one to try to convince you, but honestly, Matt, like, it's, it's not hard, like, totally up to you. I'm gonna check my shorts. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as I got over the top, I was like, okay, I'm good. Makes me fucking nervous. 
I feel when I'm nervous, I might make mistakes. Derek, why don't you radio him and tell him it's not that bad? It's baby food, don't worry. <laughs> I'll come. <laughs> oh, we got Matt coming! Oh, he's using a lot of reverse. <laughs> he's, uh... Dude, we need that P22. He's reveling at a reverse. See, now he's good. He's like, oh, I just about crap myself, but we're good now. <laughs> the sound of it is too funny. Okay, we are losing our sunlight here. Well, honestly, just our daylight. It's three o'clock already. I'm not sure where the day is gone. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you'll worry about climbing out at the end of the day. Wait till you get to the top of that piece. Glacier scares me today. Yeah, I don't disagree. We went down all that over there last time. It wasn't a crack to be seen. I don't even think you could get down over there right now. That's where the cave is too.
I'm just gonna get stuck. I don't know if I should try and back up. Hey guys, come up here if you want some cool shots. Man, right? it, nobody I wants shots, they're just sitting it. around. Dallas, what'd you say? He said he can't even see the bottom. Yeah, careful, dude. Dallas, Dallas is crazy. I wouldn't be walking anywhere over there. There's way too little snow to be covering up all these crevasses. <laughs> We just had to drop into one more little spot here. Would have been too rude not to. Especially with the sun shining. Ah, it's icy here. Careful folks. Yeah, I know eh. No, that's not even from today. No? No. <laughs> it keeps going. Almost looks like you could drop down and climb up through there. <laughs> We're playing the sound of our people for the skiers over there. You're not alone. <laughs> That's why I had to stop. I'm like, that looks too cool. I think it's my goggles. <laughs> no, yeah, it's it's there. Dallas says it's his goggles. He's wearing clear lenses. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, it's starting to get pretty late now. We should probably make a mile and get out of here. Super sick day to go in here. I'm so glad we made it in here with the really tough conditions. I was pretty unsure there at the start of the day. I'd love to stay up top for the sunset, but uh, I don't want to climb over that chute in the dark. Yeah, I'm ready when I get up top. Hopefully my belt doesn't blow. The trick is you don't want too much speed, but you want to be able to just hold your line nice and steady.
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. I am up. Slow and steady wins the race. Sun is set, so let's get the heck out of Dodge here. Who do we got first? Looks like we got Derek up. Come on, buddy! Come on, dude. Hold the steady line. Yeah, come on. Yeah. Well, if we look here, I'm stuck and there's nobody behind me. I'm holding the, I'm not holding the group up for once. <laughs> To give you guys some perspective, we were at the top of this peak right there. So crazy. I freaking love this stuff. Back on the trail here now. Still a long freaking way to go. We'll uh, see what time we get back to the truck. I think it's about 5.30 now. I'm guessing it will be like 7 o'clock, maybe just after. That's if everything goes well. Which I don't see why it wouldn't. Dallas is like, I'm backing up. I'm not getting sprayed here. We're we're just casually sitting here. Meanwhile, JT's about to roll off into the friggin' abyss. We had no idea. No. <laughs> <laughs> For internal. The temperature has sure dropped off here though. It's uh, all this wet, crunchy snow from this morning is now frozen solid. Oh. down here is definitely getting thicker. You can hardly break through it to get any cooling at all now. It's February. <laughs> oh yeah, we made it. 140K about. Good day, good day. Where's my truck? I can't see it. Oh, there you are. Not after the bridge. Ah, uh, I stopped once. How many times did you have to stop? 30. 